What we're going to be talking about in this video is how acceptance of the moment can allow you to shift your perspective and help you to let go of negative feelings in a much quicker way. So when you accept and when you say yes to the present moment, when you simply accept the negative feelings that you have in your awareness, what happens is this allows you to have a shift where now you can let go of those negative feelings in a much quicker way. Because usually what we're doing is we simply resist everything. And what happens is when you resist something, you create more of it in your life. When you're in resistance to negative thinking, you create more of it. So counterintuitively, what you want to do is begin to accept how you feel and accept those negative feelings. And a great way to help you do this is to simply become aware of the negative feelings. It starts with the awareness first, and this is counterintuitive. Hear me out. You bring it to your awareness first, and then you simply allow it. You simply allow those feelings. Because when you just allow those feelings counterintuitively, you begin to let them go in a much quicker way. Because when you're in resistance to something, you create more of it. So it begins with the awareness, and then once you become aware, you can almost observe it. So imagine you're sitting in a park, at a park bench. I got this from The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. When you're sitting in a park bench, what you can do is when you're in a park bench, you're simply just, you want to just observe the people walking by. So when you see a dog walking by, you just observe it and you just let them walk by. Don't judge it or label it as anything. When you see a lady walking her dog, just let her walk by, just watch the nature, watch everything flow by. And you don't really need to label it or judge it as anything or give interpretations because our ego always likes to interpret everything as something. We always like to judge everything that we see. We always like to project it through the filter of our mind. But when you begin to just observe the people walking by without any judgment, you can begin to have less resistance to it. So in the same way, the same way you just observe the people walking by, just observe the lady walking her dog, no judgment. In the same way, you can just observe the negative feelings that are going on in your life. Because when I began to meditate three years ago, I began to simply observe my thoughts rather than be in resistance to them. I began to, first of all, become aware of those thoughts. Second of all, to just observe them and allow them to be there. I simply allowed them to be there. I allowed the negative thinking to be there. And it allowed me to let them go in a much quicker way than usual. Because usually when I'm in resistance to everything, I have to stick to those negative feelings for much longer. I have to let those feelings, I have to stick with them and then they create more problems than necessary. They create much more problems than necessary. Even just a bit ago, when I was recording a beatbox video, it wasn't going as planned. I felt a little bit lethargic. I didn't really have enough energy to record the video in the way that I wanted. The beatboxing wasn't really going in the way that I wanted. My camera kept turning off. It kept turning off. I was finishing the beatbox video. I finally had footage that I kind of liked. I was like, okay, we're getting somewhere. I go to my camera and it stopped recording halfway through. I didn't know why, but I caught myself reacting in that moment. So instead of being in reactivity, I simply allowed it. And then once I noticed myself getting frustrated, I was like, okay, you know what? Let's take a step back. I went and I sat down in front of a tree in the shade because it's pretty hot outside right now. I sat in front of the tree. I just sat in the shade and I simply allowed my feelings to be there. I allowed my feelings of frustration. I just simply said yes to the present moment. I said yes to the present moment because it was my ego trying to create things in a certain way. I was trying to make things the way that I wanted and I wanted to be so perfect and trying to control everything. Sometimes that doesn't work. Sometimes we can't really control everything. It doesn't always go the way our egos want. So I began to just accept the moment. I simply allowed it. I sat down and then here I am recording a video and I thought of this video to record this. And now I'm in a flow state. I'm in a flow state now and I'm talking and I'm not in resistance anymore. But what could have happened is I could have been resisting. I could have said, why is this video not going the way I wanted to? Why is this happening? I could have kept trying to create the video trying to create this video, just standing there trying to get the beatbox video to work and it probably would have kept going wrong because I'm in resistance to it, right? And I'm just in that resistance state and you can't really create and let things flow when you're in resistance. You can't enter a flow state 
when you're in resistance. When you're in resistance to something, you create more of it. Not only do you create more of it, but you can't enter that flow state where the creativity now comes out naturally. Because when your ego tries to adjust everything and control everything, you can't really flow into the creation in a efficient way that comes out naturally with no resistance. When you're resisting, you create garbage. You create garbage. And even if you create it, it's not going to be as good as if you were just flowing. So I simply allowed that to be there. I sat there. I accepted the moment. I talked to my friend Aaron on the phone and there it was. I felt a lot better. And when you're in an argument with somebody, this can go the same way. If you're arguing with somebody and you're in resistance to the argument and you're like, why is this person so angry? Why is this situation happening to me? What happens in that moment? You create more of an argument. And the same way you create more negative feelings when you're in resistance to them. So going back a little bit, you want to just simply allow those feelings to be there. And it might sound repetitive, but the thing is, are you going to apply it in your life? Because you might think that makes sense, right? It's okay, I see where you're going with this, but you're getting a little bit repetitive. But the thing is, I'm trying to drill it into your brain so that you can have better feelings in your life. Because if you don't simply create a habit for yourself, because it takes a little bit of training, it takes a little bit of training. Meditation is a great way to start. To simply just observe and allow and apply it to your everyday life. Because you can do it in meditation. It's a great way to start. But then when you begin to apply it to your everyday life, that's when you really notice a shift happening in your life. It's a shift. It's a literal shift. My, when I started to just accept the feelings that happened a little bit ago when I was trying to create that video, I noticed that my feelings began to shift quite quickly. I began to feel better. I began to feel a lot better. Those negative feelings almost had a purge. It was like a, it was like a letting go. It was a letting go. And there's a lot of things in our past that we hold on to and we can't let them go because we don't allow and accept them. Because when you hold on to the past, there's a lot of past experiences that we have. I had a lot of negative experiences myself when I was younger that I would hold on to and create an identity around it. I'll create an identity around this, around these negative feelings. But when you just begin to accept and allow, you begin to let them go in a much, much quicker way. And this allows the shift to happen where you can begin to feel a lot better in your life. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope this video gave you some value and benefited you in some way or form. Make sure you guys create a habit for yourself to observe and allow and accept because the moment you begin to accept, you begin to create a shift into better, higher states of being.